today is the second day class today we will discuss about the certs and indices first let's go for the uh, some rules of over it number 1 if a to the power m into a to the power n look here the base are the same again i am repeating base are same on such cases what will happen a to the power m plus n now if base are same and they are multiplying each other then the power will be added suppose 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 8 it will be equal to the 2 to the power 5 plus 8 is equal to 2 to the power 13 i hope that the things are clear to you now let us go for the second rule here it's a multiplication if we will go for the division that is a to the power m upon a to the power n then what will happen if for multiplication is the plus then naturally for the division it will be the minus very simple so a to the power m minus n but when these things will be applicable when base are similar base are equal let, let, let us take an example 2 to the power 5 by 2 to the power 8 that means what 2 to the power 5 minus 8 so if we we'll subtract 8 from the uh, 5 uh, 8 from 5 then the resultant we will 2 to the power minus 3 and what is the meaning of the minus 3 if it's a minus then it will be like this 1 upon 2 to the power cube you can say so if if the power is minor in negative form so then it means that the uh, base will uh, can be a uh, you can place the base on upon side okay now the let us come for the third rule if a to the power m to the power n look here the base was in multiplication here there is a only one base there is the two base so here the resultant will be a m into n that means if 2 to the power uh, cube to the power 5 what will be the resultant 2 to the power 3 into 5 uh, equal to 2 to the power 15 now let's go for the fourth rule in the fourth rule suppose if the base are the different a b to the power n then what will happen a n b n just to under, understand those things suppose is a 2 into 3 to the power cube that means it will be the 2 cube into 3 to the power cube that means here no uh, addition no subtraction within the power because base are the different this is the basic you will have to understand if base were the same then the addition of power is possible if base is the same then subst uh, subtraction within the power is possible if base is the same then division of the uh, uh, multiplication of the power is possible but if base are the different then this is not possible every base will have to be treated individually now the come to the fifth one if a upon b to the power n what will again will have to treat every base independently that means a to the power n divided by b to the power n or if it is 2 by 3 cube that means 2 to the power cube divided by 3 to the power cube now one one more thing if a to the power 0 that means its value will be 1 suppose is 2 to the power 0 its value will be 1 suppose uh, 50 to the power 0 its value will be 
Suppose 121 to the power, its value will be 1. Suppose it's a 1 lakh 1111. Uh, Still that's 1 lakh 11,101 to the power 0. Its value will be again 1. So anything in the world, if they, its power is 0, that means it will be equal to 0. A very simple thing. Now let's come. Let's go for the application part. Suppose it has been given that 1 by 16 to the power minus 5 by 4. We'll have to find out the value. Suppose as we have told you that if it's a minus, if it's a minus, then 2, uh, uh, 2 to the power minus 3, that means 1 upon 2 cube. And if it is in a uh, upon shape, 16 is in a denominator, then it will just reverse and 16 will come to the numerator and it will be 16 to the power 5 by 4. So I hope that the things are very much clear to you. This is the first step. Now the second step, 16 means what? 2 to the power 5, eh, sorry 4. To 2 ja 4, 2 uh, to the 2 to the uh, 2 to ja 4, 4 to ja 8, 8 to ja 16. And 2 to the power 4, to the power 5 upon 4. We are talking about this principle. Then what will happen? 2 to the power 4 into 5 by 4. So since it is in a division phase, so it will be equal to the 2 to the power 5 will be equal to the 32. Hope the things are clear to you. Now let us do some more uh, some uh, so that we can grab the things uh, very easily. Next question. Thirty-two to the power minus one by five. So, how we equate this minus one by five? We can write in this way: one by thirty-two to the power one by five. Because the power is minus, so we will have to just we uh, put the thirty-two at the denominator. Now, 1 to the power 1 by 5, if, if you open this bracket, and it will happen 32 to the power 1 by 5. 1 to the power 1 by 5 means 1. Now 32. 32 means it is a 2 to the power 5. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32. That means 2 to the power 5 into 1 by 5. So, it will happen equal to the 1 by 2. Now let's move to the another question and it is a very common question for uh, bank purpose uh, and I often found that the boys remain unable to solve this type of question. So which one is the smallest or largest? Look, this one is the basic class. So, I will just uh, uh, show you the basic facts which are related to the uh, basics and some questions, twisted questions, which are very much common. Look, here the base are the different, power are the different, and we will have to find which one is the smallest and which one is the largest. So, first what we will have to do? We will have, we'll have to express this uh, numerals in this way 6 to the power 1 by 4 it's very much known to you it's 2 to the power 1 by 2 and 4 to the power 1 by 3 now here what is uh, now what will be the next step we will have to uh, make the power equal we will have to make the power equal we will have to make the power equal. 
how first we will have to take the lcm of of the all the powers 4 2 3 that means 2 2 2 2 1 ja 3 2 2 2 2 2 4 4 3 ja 12 so it's a 12 so we will have to make all the powers same for that first we will have got the lcm of 4 2 3 this is the power 4 power 2 power 3 and our lcm is 12 now how we will express 6 and we are making its power 1 by 12 as we have decided then what should be the power of the 6 let me uh, let the 6 is larger then naturally it's uh, we uh, will have to place is here the cube why because if we will uh, mention this in this way 6 to the power cube to the power 1 by 12 then what will happen 6 to the power 3 into 1 by 12 that means it. so it means it is basically equal to the 6 to the power 1 by 4 so we are re-expressing the things 6 to the power 1 by 4 in this way in the same way we will have express this 2 to the power 6 into 1 by 12 okay and again 4 to the power 4 into 1 by 12 if you divide 4 uh, you do 12 by 4 then it will be 1 by cube if you divide 12 by 6 then it will be the 2 if you divide 12 by the 3 then it will be the 4 the things are very much clear to you now what is the value of the 6 cube 6 6 is 36, 36 6 is 216. It's a 216 and 1 by 12. Now 2 to the power 6. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32, 32 to the 64. 64, 1 by 12 and 4, 4 to the 4, 4 to the 4, 4, uh, uh, 4, 1 to the 4, uh, 4 to the 8. Um, 4, 3, uh, 4, 4, 16, 16, 4, uh, 64, 64, 4, 2, 56. I am tired now. 1 by 12. So here, all the power are the same. Now we will have to look upon the base. It's a 216, it's a 64, and it's a 256. So naturally, which one the smallest and which one the largest we can found very easily so i hope that the things are very much clear to you and uh, today i want to finish this class and tomorrow we will uh, do something uh, different